Welcome back to Ferocious Education. This is Zach. Today I'm going to be talking again about GEVO. If you'd like to watch my previous DD, you'll find it in the description below. Make sure to drop a like to this video to help the channel grow, subscribe, and leave notifications on. I'm going to go through technical analysis, news, and what I think about this company. At any point, if I'm going through technical analysis and you don't understand any of these technical indicators, you'll find a playlist in the description below to explain each of them and what they mean. Let's jump right into it. So on the one week perspective, what we get to see here is that the MACD looks like it's actually attempting to go towards a bit more of a negative reversal, but it's stabilizing in this level just because of today's run. Uh, we get to see as well on the ADX, uh, the stock seems to be gaining in a trend, a new trend or a possibility of a very strong trend forming at 27.56. Volume percent R though puts the stock at overbought and that's a little bit of a dangerous situation to be in. Although momentum looks like it actually has gained a lot off momentum uh, at a very short time. We're looking here on the volumes though. It looks like the volumes have stabilized and the unbalanced volume doesn't seem to have dropped. It actually looks like it's actually a bit recovering from the uh, from the previous week where we hit 77 cents. Let's take a quick look into the one month one day. But before doing so, we get to see on the moving averages. Unfortunately, it does look bearish. However, 50 SMA, 10 SMA and 30 MA are all touching one another and it has potential for it to jump forward now on a one day perspective we get to see things that are a little bit different here we get to see an macd that has been negative for a little and it's actually attempting a reversal so tomorrow would be the confirmation of that reversal even though it looks like it's at 0 0.0002 on the histogram which is technically uh, an indication that it's actually gone towards that reversal although we need a confirmation uh, or a stronger confirmation that is that it's going to continue towards that trend so tomorrow if tomorrow is even a little bit green that does show that the trend has uh, been confirmed adx shows in a possibility for trend is starting here million percent or though puts this one at overbought uh, but it has been overbought even on the 77 cent mark day and on momentum looks like it's recovering really beautifully on momentum from where it was all the way back in the 8th of September. Volume here seems to be increasing and that's a bullish sign. Moving averages looks mixed. They're more bullish than bearish though. And it looks like it has the potential to be bullish. As soon as it crosses $1.26, it's completely bullish. Moving on towards the moving averages, what we get to see here, bottom of the band is $0.86. Cent, the middle is... 97 and the top is 107 so we expect for it to actually be trading within that band and so it is on the upper part of the band so that's a little bit of a dangerous place to be right now the support right now at 104 and then on the top of 122 as the resistance and on the bottom 82 below the 104 as another support now if we were to looking into supports and resistances what we get to see here is uh, there is again as i said the support at $1.12 Below that we see dollar oh nine. Below that we get to see dollar oh three, dollar oh one, ninety eight cents, ninety five cents, and then it goes all the way down to eighty five cents as the most significant one, and then below that is the eighty cent mark. So if we were to look into resistances, what we get to see on resistances. Dollar eleven again. That's the resistance slash support. Dollar sixteen. Dollar twenty. Dollar twenty four, and then a really strong one at the dollar twenty eight. If you remember, if it does break this one here. It's going to break above the two hundred SMA line. Now on the stochastic mark, what we get to see is that it really indicated that that was the area to buy. That's where it kind of levels down and hits the bottom. Right now it's hitting a little bit closer to the top but what happens is it can actually even have just a little bit more of one push similar to what happened here and then oscillate a little and then drop but in terms of significance usually what happens is when it's at the bottom curved down uh, or it's almost like stabilized then that's where you would want to buy but currently it is hitting in high jump so you might have missed the boat on here but you might have still some chances to scalp in the future so I'm going to go through as well later on about more about it. I'm going to go through first news. What we get to see here on the news, uh, we get to see the stock, uh, sorry, nothing new in terms of news except last week. No new events happening in October here. 
and then we get to see as well uh, in the terms of institutional buyers still it doesn't sign doesn't alert me with any institutional buyers coming in the latest news that came out of this one was Sweden and Norway target increased use of sustainable of aviation uh, fuel um, that's as a part of Sweden's target by 2040 of fossil free and so it will that uh, it will increase gradually to 27 percent by 2030 and that is amazing news when it comes into the stock air bp delivers to to ton uh 210 tons of sustainable aviation fluid uh now that's a different company here but that shows you there is a lot of strength a lot of demand into biofuels uh this come this page here um is quite interesting as well um so the Sorry, the website name is Biofuels International, and they hold in a lot of these news for biofuels, which is one of the big industries that Givo is working with. And you get to see uh, a lot of different ones that could easily be catalysts for the future for Givo, and it shows in a little bit of the strength towards there. Now, why did it jump today? One of the biggest reasons for the stock to easily jump is a short squeeze. And what happens here is uh, because the stock is not hard to short, what happens is a little bit off momentum with a bit of move in the right direction will get short uh, sellers to freak out and having to cover or getting stuff like margin calls and having to get their calls covered right away and so what you get and we end up getting is uh, more of a stampede in terms of having to cover do I expect this one to see a spike uh, probably what I expect for it is from here until the end of the week uh, if it does tomorrow see a little bit of green at the start, I might it might actually continue on because that would be a sign of a continuation of a positive, a positive reversal on the MACD. But it looks like it, it it has been primed to break out for a little, but I'm not sure if this is the exact breakout we're looking for, especially that it didn't hit the dollar twenty five or dollar twenty mark, and that has been a very very strong uh, resistance that it's sitting at. Now uh, it did I think touch dollar eighteen, but before dollar 25 i don't think it's still seen a breakout and that's that's my price target for this but it still has a risk of dropping down quite substantially what do you think about the sticker make sure to mention that in the comments below share subscribe and like you have a wonderful day